All right, guys. I just want to briefly show you guys um, some timing marks on a balancer shaft chain on a Ecotec engine. This goes for 20, 22, 24, um, any of those LSJ, LM4, L81, or L61. Um, this is the balancer shaft chain. This is going to turn your water pump. Water pump's here. There's the uh, exhaust balance intake balance okay now cloys makes the chain for gm i believe and uh here at titan we use cloys uh because we've had the best luck out of them all right cloys has came up with a new way to do this that makes it super simple they use a gold link for the intake now this goes for the balance shaft chain and the timing chain so if you start with that Everything else will line up. So we got a gold link here, yellow, whatever you want to call it. And then on this one, it's really tough to see. Of course, it's a black link, but there's a line on the sprocket right there. And then, of course, there's a line on that one up there as well. So if you look real close, let me see if I can zoom in for you guys. Yeah, you can see it there. So that one lines up. And the same thing goes for, whoops, same thing goes for the crankshaft sprocket. Your black goes there, black to the exhaust, gold to the intake. Just remember that and you'll have it. Now, um, same thing goes for the timing chain, but it'll come a little bit later for us. And I don't have the tensioner here on yet, so you guys can do this however you want. The quickest way I've found, like I said, start with this one, work your way around. I leave all the guides off. It's just personal preference, but I leave all the guides off hang it on the water pump and kind of roughly line it up and then i start here here and here with the guides and then i put the tensioner last and uh, i think that's the easiest way to do it so we'll come back here um and show you the timing part as well when i get to, to that point all right so now we got the tensioner in place like i said i i leave it for last and go ahead and tighten all the all the um rail bolts the guide bolts so uh leave the leave the tensioner for last make sure this this rail is free and and it's also a good idea just to make double sure that the chain is laying in the guide it, it's possible the guide's got little actually got little guides on the side of it here on front and back for the chain to lay in i always just try to make sure it's in there and then once you get that done you just take this pin right here and pull it out and you're done with that part oil pressure will take over and tighten that up when you crank it all right, so we'll come back on the um, regular timing components for the camshafts briefly. All right, guys, so here we are um, with the regular camshaft chain installed uh, most of the way. Um, what I what I like to do just briefly, I could do another video on installing. This video, I just wanted to show you guys how to do the timing marks. So uh, what I like to do is I like to uh, hang this sprocket first. With the yellow with the yellow link first i always put a zip tie here and it keeps it from these cams like to bounce around now you're going to notice a screwdriver here this is uh there's a million ways to do this chain and i've done hundreds of them and i found out that if you've got a craftsman screwdriver these craftsman screwdrivers have little grippers um on the on the tips of them down there and what i like to do is probably not like the best thing in the world but it's helped me more than anything is these cams like to turn when you take the tension off of them and uh i just tap this gently down and the friction between the cam and this aluminum oil return hole keeps the cam from moving now i keep this one free mostly and get this one fixed where it's supposed to be and then the crankshaft where it's supposed to be and then before i put this sprocket on I put the tensioning guide down in, start that bolt, get it lined up on the crank, and then lastly, I'll put this other guide. So we'll go down here in the bottom and I'll show you these marks. But again, intake gold if you're using the Cloy's chain. I believe it's yellow if you're going to use a GM chain. The black goes to the exhaust. Now these sprockets are interchangeable and you just have to pay really close attention. It says intake. I'll show you. Intake on that one exhaust on that one so you just have to pay really close attention to make sure that you get that correct and then down at the bottom you're gonna have another black link let me see if i can show you guys 
I'll zoom in on it maybe. You can have another black link that's going to line up to the dot on the crankshaft sprocket. So that's all there is to it. Black to the crank, gold to the intake, black to the exhaust. And then the tensioning guide there, of course. And then uh, that's all there is to it, guys. And I like to go ahead, get all the tensioner rail, the guides bolted down, this one bolted down, and then we'll install the um, automatic tensioner. All right, we'll be back shortly. All right, so here's a little tidbit of information that uh, I was going to share with you quick, and I can do another video on this as well. This is the automatic tensioner for the 202224 Ecotech. And you'll notice this cone shape on the end of it. If it has the cone shape and those hashes in this bolt here, hex head, it's a new design. Now when we install this, we want to make sure that this is free to move up and down before we screw it in there. If it's, if it's activated and you screw it in there, it'll break the guides. Now here's what I was going to show you that's really cool. If you own an um, a Ecotech powered vehicle, chances are if you change your own oil, you've got this socket right here. This is a snap-on one, but there's a ton of different ones. And this is for the oil filter housing. This is an inch and a quarter socket. It works perfect for the tensioner. Fits it perfect. So I take a, a 3 8 to half adapter and use a pull bar because this is pretty tight to get out. It's not really necessary that you torque it down that tight back going back with it but uh because it's got just a rubber metal overing seal but um yeah that's a good way to get that out and you don't have to buy an inch and a quarter socket if you don't have one all right guys so here we are finished product everything's tight tension's good um now what i was going to tell you guys is again we'll go over this gold intake black exhaust same thing on the bottom black to the it's some most of the time that's going to be four o'clock position 330 or something i think i've got it turned back just a little bit but uh long as you got that black mark there you're good no worries with that now once you get the tensioner in back there that's the tensioner right there once you get that in and torque down you can actually activate that. You don't necessarily have to. You can just go ahead and start it, but I like to activate it. And the way to do that is just take you um, a big screwdriver and insert it right down in here. Let me see if I can get you guys a little bit lined up a little bit better. Stand by here. Yeah, okay. You just insert the screwdriver right down in here. and push against that chain maybe bump it with your hand just kind of bump it like that and that'll that'll activate that tensioner it's just got a little cam in there that has to release uh the oil pressure will do it as well but you kind of risk starting it up with a little bit too much slack and it breaking something so and after you get done you make sure to torque these these are torque to yield torque these down i'll leave them for last because that way everything's in place and there's tension on it you don't have to worry about letting it slip or anything and uh that's all there is to it guys now i didn't really go over how to install this chain in this video this was i just wanted to do some marks for quick quick and easy marks for you guys so appreciate you watching guys